So this question is a diagram based question. We have a table that's provided here. This table is uh, all about international tourist arrivals in millions. So we have a list of countries here, followed by the number of tourists arriving to each of those countries in 2012 and in the year 2013. So we've already seen this information here from question 37. So we see that there's nothing additional being added there. So I'm not going to read that. I'm just going to jump straight into question 38. So the question says the number of international tourist arrivals in Russia in 2012 was 13.5% greater than in 2011. So how do I, you know, how do I translate that? This is really looking like a translate word problem question. So I translate that, I translate that by saying, hey, the 2012 number is equal to the 2011, 2011 number plus an additional 13.5%. This is not accurate, obviously, because these are, these are years, it's not number of people, but hopefully it kind of makes sense. However many people showed up in 2012 is equal to however many people showed up in 2011 plus 13.5% of that value, right? So uh, let's keep reading. The number of international tourists arrivals in Russia was K million more in 2012 than in 2011. So the 2012 number minus the 2011 number is going to give me the K value. What is the value of K to the nearest integer, right? And then we're trying to just figure out what is K to the nearest integer. So let's plug some stuff in that we do know. We do know the, the 2012 number. We know that in 2012, Russia received 24 Point seven million people. We do not know the 2011 number, so I'm gonna call that X. How do I write 13? In fact, this is a 13.5 percent increase, right? How do I write 13.5 percent increase? Well, 13.5 in percent increase is the same as saying 113.5 percent, right? We want to have all of the people who came in 2000. 11, right? So 100% of them plus an additional 13.5% on top of that 100%. And all together, that is what will give us the number of people who came in 2012. So that again represents 113.5% on this test. And really in math in general, we never use the percentage form to do actual math. We always convert the, the percentage form into a decimal. So 113.5% is the same as 1.135, and that is what I multiply by x, right? 1.135 times x is the same as saying 113.5% of x. When I divide this in order to figure out what that x is, Right, so I'm going to go to my calculator and just figure out, well, what is 24.7 divided by 1.135? And what I'm getting here is at least rounded. So I'm getting 21.762 and so on. I'm going to call that 21.8. So that's my X value. All right. And so my X value, again, represented my 2011 number. So that, that takes care of that part of it. So now, now I'm here, right? So in 2012, there were 24.7 million people. In 2011, according to my calculation, there's 21, there were 21.8 million people. The difference there is, so you put that in your calculator, that's going to give you a difference of 2.9 million. So that is my K value. But the question wants me to, to round that K value to the nearest integer. So that 2.9 becomes 3, and therefore 3 is the correct answer to this question.